to be the best, you must become the best. October 27th and 28th. That's right, October 27th and 28th. Come to my shop. Learn hands-on how to become the number one detailer in your city. We're going to teach you how to do a five-step paint correction and triple. That's right, triple your detailing prices. Not only are we gonna show you how to do it, but we're gonna train you how to sell it and get it in front of the masses. Winter is coming soon, so don't miss out on this opportunity to evolve. Register today. The link is in the description. Prince, Beast Mode Detailing. Shutterstock Music. Get the most out of your detailing website this Christmas. You want to get paid before you do the detail? Bruh, I got you. You want to sell gift certificates on your site this Christmas and the rest of your life? Bruh, I got you. You want 200 to 500 potential clients hitting your site each and every month? Bruh, I got you. Order today and get the chat widget for free. Every time the person hits your site, you want to greet them and sell them on a detail or answer any question they may have through your cell phone. But on their end, they see this. The woman comes in white, black, or Chinese. So call, text, or click the link below to get started. Prince, be smooth detail. How's it going? This is Prince, Beast Mode Detailing, Grind Time TV, where we talk about different strategies on how to get you more money in your mobile auto detailing business. Now, anyway, we're going to talk about how to start a chemical store practically with just basically a dollar. Man. I'm going to show you how to make money um, in your industry. This is good for college students. This is good for high school students. This is good for teenagers. This is good for everybody. Anybody can make money off this, right? It just all depends on your hustle, right? The second you decide that this is the direction I'm going in, that this is what I'm going to do, that this is how I'm going to make my bread, right? You can make tons of it. It all depends on how large your vision is, how much money you want to make, and how strong your hustle muscle is. That's all it depends on, man. So, you know those um, um, air fresheners, the, the car air fresheners, the little trees? It's tons of money in it, right? And I know right now you're kind of turned off saying, I ain't trying to sell no daggone air fresheners, but let me break it down to you. Let me break it down to you, all right? And I'm gonna give you links to where you can go and start this joint yourself. Basically, you can start with like a dollar, right? Why not? Why not? You can make some more money on the side. And then for college students, I can show you how you can make, you can make 10 grand a month. I'll show you how to do it. Just selling, selling car fresheners, all right? Now, as a detailer, we don't really, as de detailers don't really like them joints. A little tree that you're hanging, I don't really like them joints, to be honest with you, right? But a lot of people do. You know, it has nothing to do with me, a lot of people do. So, if a lot of people are buying it, why not, why not invest in it? Why not make money off of it, right? Me, personally, I don't have time to sit down like that and, um, to, to, to wait for this money to come in. I gotta go get it, right? But if I had nothing else to do, right? If I had no work coming in, right? If I had no no money whatsoever, right? Just enough to invest in order to flip this money, this is what I this is what I tell you to do. This one is more better than selling drugs, bro. I'm telling you, it's better than selling weed. It's better than selling cocaine. It's better than selling dope. It's better than selling everything, right? So, number one, you can buy this joint wholesale. And to buy wholesale, you can get like, I think they sell in like a 24 for like $12.50, right? Basically, you're getting 50 cent per, 50 cent per um, 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 air fresher, right? Assorted colors, any kind of, any kind of you want, right? Shut right? Up, now, the first place I would go to sell it at, right? But not necessarily, not necessarily, uh, the, the list that I'm going to break down to you is not in any kind of order. Right? Uh, oh, before I even get into that, uh, I want to let you guys know, uh, definitely we got the training going on on the 27th, 28th of October this month. Um, next month, we got a, we got some, uh, we got a couple seminars happening in November. Look out for that. 
We got another training coming up in November, right? We're going to be in, um, if everything works out, we should be in West Palm Beach, Florida in December. January, we're going to be in, uh, I believe we're coming, we're going to Texas. We got some stuff popping off in Atlanta. We got some things popping off in uh, California. Uh, a few things, we, something going on in New York. Um, I think that's in July though, of next year. Popping off in New York, so like like things things are really coming to to vision, right? And uh, we got a lot of information, a lot of things, a lot of conferences that's gonna come up next year by the, the end of this year. And next year we going into next year like both guns blazing, bro hitting everything that's moving. And that's how you need to be in your auto detailing business because when we give out, when I give out this information like this, right? I'm not giving it out just, just so you can just say, oh, that was deep. No, you got to apply the information. If you don't apply the information, the only thing you're becoming is a hoarder. A hoarder of information, not being able to use it to your advantage, good bro. You have got to be able to transform yourself, right? Into the next version of you, into a higher version of you. Right? Everybody in your family needs this person. The earth needs for you to transform. Right? It's, it's a necessity. It's something that you must do. Absolutely must do. Okay? So now, back to the uh, air fresheners. I will be selling the mugs on eBay. Right? If I'm giving them at 50 cents, I can sell them on eBay for a dollar. Let's say I got to ship it out. It might cost me like 50 cents. Not, not 50 cents. It might cost me like um, a dime. Depends on how many I'm shipping out at that time. Shutter sock music. Let me fix this one second. Anyway, might cost me a dime to, to, um, to ship it out. I'm not shipping out one. That's that's just not gonna happen, right? You gotta be able to sell, just like you buy it in bulk, sell them joints in bulk. The only problem with eBay is, when it comes to those air fresheners, it's mad competition on there. All right, so you gotta be able to learn, you have to learn how to drive traffic to yourself, right? And that's something that, that I'm gonna be teaching in the seminar coming up in November, so definitely look out for that. How to drive traffic to yourself, because look, bro, you can be the best detailer in the world. If you ain't got no customers, or you ain't got enough customers, and you ain't hitting that register enough times where price is high enough to where it makes a difference in your life, you're wasting your time. Go get a job. That's what you need to do. Go get a job. All right, so, get a text message. Shutter sound. All right, anyway, um, Facebook will be number two, all right? I will create a store on Facebook, and that's the only thing it does, is sell air fresheners, right? I just simply post about Shutter air fresheners, right? Now, you're gonna have to be able, again, drive traffic to yourself. It's sort of like building a fan page, a business page, right? Get people to like it. You're gonna have to post in those groups. Get people to like it. You're gonna have to pay for likes. The reason why you wanna pay for likes, I know in most people's mind, why would I pay for somebody to like myself? Because when they like it, every time you post something, Facebook put it back in their face. So when it comes time for them to buy, when they wanna buy some air fresheners, Facebook already got it in their face. That's what you have to do. That's the whole point of, of fan pages, right? The whole point of my, 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 um, opinion of it if you're gonna make money like 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 there's no reason for me being on facebook unless i'm trying to make money right i don't care about no funny video i don't care about making friends with somebody all the way across the planet unless we're trying unless we're trying to grind unless you're trying to get some money right other than that there's no point it's not enhancing my life it's taken away from my life because i invested time into it even though i spent 20 minutes 10 minutes looking at this crazy cat video i don't lost 10 minutes of my life that you're never getting back, which is the most important thing in your life. More important than money. More important than anything is time, right? And how you choose to use your time is totally up to you, right? If you're wasting your time watching three, four hours of TV, right? Six hours of TV and not investing in it to yourself, not learning, not evolving, not using this time to grind, not using this time to get it, you're literally killing yourself, wasting time. You're literally killing time, right? Talk to some old, go to the old folks' home and talk to them. See what they say. They'll tell you, I wish I would have done this. I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have done this, right? But now that time is gone, for the most part, 
right? Not saying they still can't do anything, but for the most part, the grind, I mean, their the bodies is gone, right? Their minds is shocked because they were not, they did not take advantage of the time. They was playing around. It's a saying that uh, Les Brown says, he says, if you do things that, if you do things that are easy, your life is going to be hard. If you do things that are hard, Shutters. your life is going to be easy, right? If you get into the habit of doing things that you don't absolutely don't want to do, right? Get into the habit of doing those things that I don't want to do, right? Because when it, once you get to, once you get the habit, once you get once you get past the 21st day of doing it, doing things that you absolutely don't want to do, right? It becomes nothing, right? When challenges come in front of you, it's not even a big deal. I could care less. I wasn't. I. I you know, it, it's like. You know, when I wake up, when I wake up, I got three in the morning, right? There's not a day that goes by that I don't want to stay in the bed. There's not a day, and some days I do. <laughs> some days I stay in the bed, right? But there's, there's not an emotion, there's not a feeling inside of me that says, oh, I just want to get up. No, every day is a fight. Every day, because when you wake, when, you, when that alarm go off, right? Everything in your head scream unanimously. Stay in the bed. Cut the Shut alarm off. Music. And it's that one little voice that says, bro, we, we ain't got time for this. We got to grind. Everybody depending on you. Everybody in this household is depending on you. Get up and let's go get it. Music. And that's how you do it, bro. Ooh. All right. Again, Facebook, all right? So, 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 let's say I'm not really, Prince, I'm not that good at you know, posting. I'm not that good on the computer. Da, 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 da. I understand, bro. I understand. No big deal, right? So let's go ahead and order these joints by bulk, right? Let's go to the flea market, right? Now, at the average flea market, let's say they open on Saturday and Sunday. The average flea market pull in anywhere minimum 300 per day to maximum five. Uh, maximum is more like 25,000. Depends on the size of the flea market. Let's say 25,000, right? Now, Ideally, what you want to do is set up by the door, right? But you can set up anywhere. It's air fresheners. Everybody come there has a car, just about. And you use that joint and you sell to everybody out there, right? Have exotic stuff, right? Don't just have strawberry, purple, and green. Have stuff where they can smell sample. Mm, make it a store. It's your store, right? And so, look, look, bro. You are two days out the week, right? You can make a grand... You can make, honestly, you can make 2500 a day doing this joint, right? Depends on how much traffic is coming through there. And again, depends on your own hustle and your own grind, right? So that's Saturday and Sunday. Let's say, let's say ideally, I could only sell 500 of them joints a day, right? 500 people, if you can't find 500 people to give you a dollar in a flea market that's full of 25,000 people, something wrong with you. Right? They're going to give it to you, man. They're going to walk over to you and they're going to give it to you. Now, I'm going to show you later on how you need to finagle your whole your whole um, store setup. Shut right? Up, because, look, bro, down here in, in flea markets, people get like these huge, the, like 20 by 20, 20 by 20 um, tents. Right? They put the walls down. They got like tables on the inside. It looks like a little store. You actually walk inside, walk around their little store and come back out because they got so many different products in there. Right? And you become the king the absolute authority when it comes down to these air fresheners, bro, and be about your hustle. Be about your grind. Right? Shut her, right? Be about it. Alright? And don't care about what other people say because you're going to be getting it, bro. You're going to be getting it. I'm going to take a quick break. Prince, be small detailing. Grind Time TV. Be right back. To be the best, you must become the best. October 27th and 28th. That's right, October 27th and 28th. Come to my shop, learn hands-on how to become the number one detailer in your city. We're gonna teach you how to do a five-step paint correction and triple, that's right, triple your detailing prices. Not only are we gonna show you how to do it, but we're gonna train you how to sell it and get it in front of the masses. Winter is coming soon, so don't miss out on this opportunity to evolve. Register today, the link is in the description. Prince, Beast Mode Detail. Shutter Sock Music. 
get the most out of your detailing website this Christmas. You want to get paid before you do the detail? Bruh, I got you. You want to sell gift certificates on your site this Christmas and the rest of your life? Bruh, I got you. You want 200 Shutter's to 500 potential clients hitting your site each and every month? Bruh, I got you. Order today and get the chat widget for free. Every time the person hits your site, you want to greet them and sell them on a detail or answer any question they may have through your cell phone. But on their end, they see this. The woman comes in white, black, or Chinese. So call, text, or click the link below to get started. Prince, be smooth detail. Hey, welcome back, Prince Beast Mode Detailing, Grind Time TV, where we talk about different strategies on how to get you more money in your mobile auto detailing business. <laughs> Y'all, uh, flea market, right? So let's say Saturday and Sunday, let's say you got a nice little canopy, right? Um, the joints don't cost that much, right? You got a nice little canopy, you got you some store, you got joints hanging on the wall, you got joints, um, um, you got tables where the joint is set up, right? You got the special order. You got look, look, look air freshener king is what I'm talking about. Air freshener pimp. I don't know what you heard about me, huh? You got that set up on the weekend, all right? Now let's get some passive income coming in. While I'm hustling on the weekend, I need some passive income, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the mom and pop store and you're gonna sell it at the mom and pop so all you gotta do is go in right i got a seminar coming up next month watch i teach you how to get inside the store but it's real simple you just go in the front door hook and then you start setting up now most of these people already have a vendor selling those things so you're gonna have to switch it up right which means you're gonna have to customize it so that you can buy customizable um air fresheners to to set customizable air fresheners. All right, so for for my detailers, you wanna give away your customizable air fresheners. You're gonna put on it, it's a business card, all right? So you can customize them joints, and if I if I got time, I'll put the link in there where you can get them from. Other than that, just Google customize, um, customizable air fresh car air fresheners, all right? Other, all right, so you put up there your name, company, website, phone number, Blasey block, give it to them at the end of it, or put it up there for them, all right? Find out what kind of smell they like so that you don't give them something that they absolutely hate, and then they'll remember you that I hate this smell and that you come to mind, all right? So you don't wanna do that. All right, so um, as far as putting it in a mom and pop store, you can you can get the customizable ones. They're a little bit more expensive, but not that much. I think they cost like, like 56 or 57 cent um, extra to have it customized, all right? And now later on in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make your own. But we'll get to that later on. As of right now, you customize and let's say it's called Beast Mode Air Fresheners, right? They smell like a beast, whatever, right? <laughs> beast Mode. And you sell them joints in the stores. Now, this is the passive income. The passive income is you go to every single store. Um, you can go up to hundreds and hundreds of miles as far as you wanna go. Because again, all you gotta do is ship it out to the stores, those who've set up the deal with, right? Make sure they know that, listen, I'm gonna ship this to you, I need you to put it right here. All right, and now sometimes they charge a little extra for that, and whatever deal you guys work out, you work out. Um, if you come to the class and I'll show you uh, what kind of deals, and you get all the forms and all that stuff on how to make it legit, blah, blah, blah done with, all right? With, with, that, with that being said, you got your flea market, okay? Let's say you got, 50, 10 stores, all right? Let's say you got 10 stores, all right? Balance it out, right? This is your passive income. This is your main income. Now, you're gonna you're gonna double that, right? Not just going to mom and pop stores, but you're gonna go to the tobacco stores. Most tobacco vendors don't have um, the air freshener guy in there. So if he does have it, cool, we go back to customization, right? Get 10 of them joints, right? So that's more passive income. Now you have two passive incomes coming in from the um from the um from the um the stores all right 
if you know anything about computers, then you know how to get that passive income, not passive, but you can get the income off of uh, off of the internet as well. All right, so I already showed you two sites. All right, next is uh, fundraisers. All right, you can use your customizable um, air fresheners for schools. All right, it can say up there, um, XYZ elementary school, XYZ um, high school, right? And you have the fundraiser. Now, before you start cutting and spending money, the best way to do it is just like they, they've always done it. It's probably the best way of doing it. You create a magazine, you create a brochure, all right? Where they can fill it out, right? They fill it out and then they, they um, pay for it. They send the money back and pay for it. All right, and then once you get the money, you give the school theirs, you break that off, you send everybody their stuff. It works just that simple. The cool part about it is they gonna have every child, if you got a prize in there, whoever sells the most, get this, get that, and you think of kids, what do kids want? I want an Xbox, right? I want a PlayStation 4, I want the Xbox One, I want a tablet, I want a laptop. So you think of those things like that and you put them as the top prize, right? Every kid to be out there killing for you, bro. Killing for you. Listen, this is Prince. I'm going to take a quick break. Be right back with you. Beast Mode Detail, Grind Time TV. To be the best, you must become the best. October 27th and 28th. That's right, October 27th and 28th. Come to my shop. Learn hands-on how to become the number one detailer in your city. We're going to teach you how to do a five-step paint correction and triple. That's right, triple your detailing prices. Not only are we going to show you how to do it, but we're going to train you how to sell it and get it in front of the masses. Winter is coming soon, so don't miss out on this opportunity to evolve. Register today. The link is in the description. Prince, Beast Mode Detailing. Get the most out of your detailing website this Christmas. You want to get paid before you do the detail? Bruh, I got you. You want to sell gift certificates on your site this Christmas and the rest of your life? Bruh, I got you. You want 200 to 500 potential clients hitting your site each and every month? Bruh, I got you. Order today and get the chat widget for free. Every time the person hits your site, you want to greet them and sell them on a detail or answer any question they may have through your cell phone. But on their end, they see this. The woman comes in white, black, or Chinese. So call, text, or click the link below to get started. Prince, be smooth detail. Welcome back, Prince, Beast Mode Detailing, Grind Time TV, where we talk about different strategies on how to get you more money in your mobile auto detailing business. <laughs> I love saying that, man. Anyway, um, what we stop at? I think we stopped at fundraisers, right? Now, you go for now, what is joining any kind of fundraiser you got going on? This is going to be passive income for you as well. All right, so now, Let's say you got the you got you got stuff online, okay? You got um, the flea market, right? That's your main source on the weekend, all right? You got your mom and pop stores, you got um, tobacco stores, right? Let's let's count. You can count that as, as thirty, bro. Right, right, right now, and even with just this part right here, you're already um, you're already about fifty five hundred a month, fifty five hundred a month. That's where you're at right now, right? And, and ideally, man, ideally you want to shoot for 100 grand, right? The reason why I say you need to shoot for 100 grand, all right, let's say, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this, I'm looking at this, um, let's say I'm looking for a house, right? I'm looking for a house, right? And you're thinking, man, I want to get this house for my wife. You know what I'm saying? It's been a struggle, man. It's detailing thing, man. It's just... Prince, I hear what you're saying. I hear your strategies, man. But 
I'm still trying to make more money in my auto detailing business. Right? Right? Cool. Cool. I get you. I understand, bro. I know the struggle. Trust me. I know the struggle. You know? You got good days. You got bad days. However, I'm not saying drop the auto detailing business because you can do this during the week. You do the auto detailing business during the week. Everything else is passive and it's coming in on the weekend. All right? So, so like, like, I mean, the thing is, okay, so you're going to have to balance where, okay, look, that $300, that $400 detail might fall in on the weekend and it might not. More than likely it's not, right? More than likely it's not. And someone who's willing, who's willing to spend $400 with you will wait to Tuesday, Wednesday to get it done too by you. All right. And if they don't, no big deal, because I'm going to the flea market this weekend and I'm going to make my I'm going to make my two grand this weekend. Right. Or, dude, I ain't even worried about it because I got two grand coming in from my 30 stores a week. Right. Air freshness. Air freshness. Hustle. Like when I say hustle, like you got to give like every your hustle got to be strong, strong. Right. But you can do it, bro. All you gotta do is buy one air freshener and flip, right? Then you got two dollars, right? You take the two dollars you invested, then you got four dollars. You take the four dollars invested, then you got eight dollars. Take the eight dollars invested, then you got sixteen, and so forth. All right. So back to the house. I want to get my wife a house, right? How can I get it, man? The detailing thing ain't it ain't pumping out as much as I need. You know what I'm saying? How many air fresheners do you have to? How many air fresheners do you have to sell to buy, to get a hundred thousand dollar house? A hundred thousand, right? Easier said than done, right, Prince? Easier said than done. No, it's not. No, it's not. Right? You can make a hundred grand at the flea market, right? Only thing you do you're selling ten thousand a month. Right in, in 10 months, you're having in 10 months, you got to be able to sell 10,000 in 10 months. You have to be able to formulate a plan to sell 10,000. And this is a plan. I'm going to tell you, right? If I get through everything, you get 10,000, bro, a month, right? Consistently, right? And you can't burn the money. You can't blow the money. You have to reinvest it. You can't touch none of the money for 10 months. You can't, right? Take everything that you, everything that you make reinvest all of it right bet the bank on that mug right because they don't expire unless you open them right they don't expire and later on i'm gonna get into how you can make your own all right all right so now where we at well fundraise all right you can build a website right or you can come to me i'll build your website just for just for um for for our uh, car freshness right you'll be surprised how many people are online looking for it? I was looking for it, right? Online looking for it, man, right? And then you can sell to the entire globe, bruh. Sell to the world, right? You talking about 10,000? Bruh, I seen you 10,000 hits to your site today, right? If you're selling to the whole world, right? You gotta think bigger than just where you are. Sell to the world, right? You sell to the world, you're guaranteed to get 10,000 a month. Selling that stuff, right? More. 10,000 is like a drop in the bucket. More. And we can go into drop shipping. We gonna, if you want training on this joint, man, um, Shutterstock music. Text me. Text um car freshener training to that number that's showing down on the bottom. Car freshener training. Text me. Shutterstock music. All right, and I'll get back with you and I'll let you know what we got to do. All right, real simple. All right, what's the next thing? Uh, of course, website. Now, websites, if you build a website or if I build a website for you, you still have to drive traffic to it. So so now, you, so, so once you build a website, right, just because you build one doesn't mean you're making money. You have to get people to, just like if you got, if you got, if you're the greatest detailer in the world, don't nobody know it if you ain't got no customers. You got to advertise yourself, right? So that costs money, right? However, you can still make 10 grand without doing that, but you cannot sell to the world without that, right? Unless you got like some serious plugs. That's the only way, right? That's the, that's the only way. Other than that, you got to have a website. You got to be able to reinvest in yourself. And it's so much more. It's so many things that, that, that I wish I could share with you right now, but I have to reserve myself, right? Because people will, will um, take advantage of you and try and suck you dry. 
Gene suck a meat rock. Hmm. Alright, anyway. Alright, what's the next thing? Look, look, air fresheners are so popular, right? You can sell these joints on the side of the road. You ain't gotta go to the flea market. You can have you a table, a nice banner, set up on the side of the road, says car freshness, and I guarantee you make a sale. You gotta be a very busy road, but I guarantee you'll make a sale. Guarantee, right? I guarantee you'll probably make $100. Look, the guy who stands, the guy who stands on the side of the corner with his sign that says, you know, um, give me some money um, or, or so I can buy some food or something like that, right? Everything works for him, right? Everything works for him. How much money do you think that guy makes, right? I remember reading in an article that a guy here in North Carolina in Durham was making $2,500 a month, right? Because think about this, man. He sits, he stands on the side of the corner, right? He's on the side of the corner, right? Um, 2,500 people that, let's say 10,000 people that passed him and 2,500 of those 10,000 gave him a dollar. He just made 2,500. He's staying in a hotel. He don't live in a homeless shelter. Do eating like filet mignon, right? But he's, look, look, the guy's a salesman, right? Everything works. The only thing, only thing that doesn't work, if I, if I could finagle the joint a little bit, right? The only thing that don't work for him is that his asking price is too low, right? So, so like, 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 for instance, the clothes, the dirty clothes works. That works. If you're trying to portray a bum, that works, right? The stinking breath, absolutely. The yellow teeth, absolutely. That works, right? Um, misspelled words on the side, that works. That works. The only problem is, again, he's not asking for enough, right? Because see, like, if he goes out there, he'd be like, he'd be like, bruh, let me, you got any spare change, right? And I, you know, I go and I get spare change. There you go, bro. No big deal, right? But if you would have been like, yo, bro, you got like $50? Can I get $50 from your baller? Let me get $50, right? I'd be like, man, I ain't got no $50 to give you, but I might have $5, right? Right? Or I might have a dollar. Either way, I'm giving it to him, right? Right? And his asking price is way up here, and I hit him way down here in the knees, but it's much better than asking for change because if you ask for change, more than likely, that's what you're going to get, right? 20 cent, 30 cent. I seen one, I seen one guy on the side of the street, um... It was a, he was he was on the side of the street. It was a car in front of me, and I was right behind that car. And I was going to give him some money, so I rolled down my window and I said, "Hey, you know, I got some money for you, right?" And I had I had my I had two dollars, right? I had my two dollars out the window, right? Here you go, bro. And the guy in front of me gave homie like you know when you put money in an ashtray and stuff in your car, he gave homie like six thousand pennies, right? He was like this and put it in his pocket. And then he started to walk off. And dude was like, "Hey, I got some more. I got some more." He was like, "I don't want all those pennies." Messed up, right? Mentality. Anyway, he came to the dollar, gave him two dollars. But homie probably had like ten thousand dollars worth of pennies over there, bro. Cause he like dumped it. Like when he came to me, he was like balling, like bum balling, but balling, right? Like ten thousand pennies, bro. Like right? nobody wants to wants to um count all them pennies. But I, one thing for sure, if you go to the counter, you like you get all this stuff, and they be like, this is six dollars and forty five cent, and you pull out all these pennies, whoosh, dang on the counter, they be like, alright. Whatever, well, the rest of the short, the rest of the short, right? So anyway, I ain't got off talk. All right, um, again, you can sell them on the side of the road, all right? Uh, another place you can sell them is at the self-service car wash. You got to finagle it a little bit because you got owners out there and sometimes they come out there and check, right? If you got a very busy one, right? A very busy one, you can always call the owner and ask them if this is okay. If you're doing a fundraiser and that's, that's where your money really at, at the fundraiser, right? So let's say you're doing it as a fundraiser, he gonna let you sit out there, right? He gonna let you sell these joints, man. Look, you can even get, you can get, um, I can't go into it right now, but you can get um, mailing subscriptions where people, um, like like a lot, like, okay, I got um, I got one client, dude just loved the air freshener black ice, so I make sure when I'm going to detail his car, I go ahead and buy two, three, four of them, right? I bring it out there to him, I take the other one because because he, he's on a contract, right? Well, when I was out there detailing, when he was on the contract, I would take the air freshness, the, um, I would take one of them, put it up in his window the way he likes it, right? Smells good, right? I take the other one down that I had in there, I throw it away. I take the extra three that I have, I stuff it all the way at the bottom of his um, of his middle glove console, and I close, he drives a black Cadillac. 
So I put it at the very bottom so he doesn't see it, right? And if he does see it, it doesn't matter. So next time when I come out there, I just go ahead and reach in the bottom, I pull it out, boom, I put it up there, right? So you can actually have subscriptions, what I'm saying. People will actually pay you online to, to um, send them instant, uh, not instant, send them car fresheners every single month, as, as, crazy as, as crazy as it might sound. It's very possible. It's very, very possible, okay? Um, all right, so now we, we let's, let's go into the, let's go into the, uh, self-service okay because i know a lot of guys are not feeling that side i ain't selling nothing on the side of the road to get that i ain't no bum right i understand that yo yo bro i get you i get you i wouldn't want to do it either but i would if, if i had to do it that's what i would do right and there's no shame in it right because people can laugh at you and people can call you name but guess what i'm feeding my family right the bible says a man who don't take care of his own is worse than an infidel an infidel is someone who does not believe in god you worse than him Ah. Anyway, um, Walmart, all right? You seen the Girl Scouts in the front selling Girl Scout stuff? Get you some car fresh in the girls right now. Set out in the front, right? You set it up, right? You set it up. You learn how to do it, right? Walmart's not going to ask you for any money. They just want to make sure that this money is going towards this particular organization that you said you're, you're helping. Right? So that's cool. Now, what you're giving to them is none of Walmart's business, right? It's only a setup between me and that person right there or, or the 501c3 um, um, organization, all right? The fundraiser organization. It's between me and them, what I give to them. Now, what I give to them is, is totally like, like I can give you 5%, I can give you 1%, I can give you 1.2%, right? It doesn't matter, right? Long as you don't have to do anything, I'm giving you money. I just need the 501c3 number so I can tell Walmart right now if you're at Walmart look five days five days Monday through Friday now Friday Wednesday Thursday and Friday is when it's gonna be popping and Saturday night you know how it is on Saturday night <laughs> especially in those small country towns Walmart be jumping during the week right and so if you set up campaigns out there right now, you can't get greedy and be at the same Walmart every freaking week, right? You there, if you're there for like 30 days straight, not a big deal. I think 30 days is not a big deal. Um, a year, people like, you ain't, you ain't, dude, you showing up for the Lexus. <laughs> get the money before they spin it, bro. Anyway, if you go be small with it, right? Because at Walmart, think about this, man. I mean, Walmart is, is 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 killing like they doing like man, maybe like the average Walmart is probably putting in like twenty thousand customers in there every day, man. Right, so that's twenty thousand people that's gonna pass by you, right? If you're at the front door, that might give you something, might not give you something, right? Let's just say, let's say you only get a quarter of that, right? Twenty thousand a quarter of that, uh, you're looking at about what four thousand? You make four grand that day or that week or whatever. Man, it's not too bad. Four grand. Music. Selling fresheners. You gonna be fresh. Selling freshness, bruh. Great for college students, man. Like if I had the chance to go to college, man, that's what I would be doing. That's what I would be doing. I had to make some bread. I ain't eating no wounds and noobs. Dude, I'm eating freaking lamb. I'm eating like like stuff that it, it's truly like mystery meat, right? Like dragon. I'm eating dragon pizza, right? Stuff that like ball and stuff, right? I seen one day Chappelle joint. Uh, my man had a. Uh, I ain't gonna get into all that. I ain't gonna get into it. Anyway, his flow is made out of like gold or something. Right? But uh, again, Walmart, right? So you're at Walmart, okay? Um, go be small with it. Don't just get one Walmart, get all of them. <laughs> get as many as you can. Right? They all gonna say yes, they're not gonna say no. They all they have to support the community. That's part of Walmart thing. They have to support the community. So if you're supporting the community and you got these car fresheners and you're giving to this particular 501c3, you got it, baby. You got it. You got it. So you got the flea market, you got your websites, you got your different places, you got your, your passive income, you got the Walmarts, now you got like you got 10, you got 30 stores, you got 
the say ten WalMarts, right? You, you look, bruh, bruh. You the freaking car freshener king, baby. Car freshener king. Look, you look your jewelry, like your 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 uh, charms. When you like, you got a chain. It should be having like car fresheners all the way around that joint. But you just, I'm feeling it, baby. I'm feeling it. That's how you should be. Car freshening jewelry, baby. Anyway, uh, you got all the Walmarts, right? Let's say you got ten in your in your particular uh, radius, right? You got thirty stores, right? You that's including the mom and pops and also including the tobacco stores, all right? Because the tobacco stores is pretty much everywhere, all right? Um. You got your online stuff. You got your flea market stuff. This is what else I need you to go to now, right? Because the Walmart's going to be the blueprint. The next place you're going to go to is the grocery store, right? Set, same setup, bro. All you need to buy is a table, banner, 501c3. <laughs> you don't got to go after one wall, uh, one um, grocery store. Get all of them, right? You want that house? You want that Bentley? You want that car? Right? You can get it easy. You can easily get it. Right? Just just go get it. Right? Call fresh. It's, yo, um, the uh, wholesale website is cleanright.com. Cleanright.com with a K. K-L-E-E-N-R-I-T-E.com. Give you some effort, man. Go, go, buy, go buy your wife a house. Go buy you that truck you want. Go get that steam cleaning you want. Right? Come to the conference. Get that money. Come to the conference. Right? Get that money. Come to the classes. That's what you need to do. So you can really get some money. All right. So next is, uh, where we at? Now, you have the store. Let me take a break. Look, Prince, be small detail. I'm going to take a quick break. Be right back with you. Right after these messages. To be the best, you must become the best. October 27th and 28th. That's right, October 27th and 28th. Come to my shop. Learn hands-on how to become the number one detailer in your city. We're going to teach you how to do a five-step paint correction and triple. That's right, triple your detailing prices. Not only are we going to show you how to do it, but we're going to train you how to sell it and get it in front of the masses. Winter is coming soon, so don't miss out on this opportunity to evolve. Register today. The link is in the description. Prince, Beast Mode Detailing. Shutterstock Detail. Get the most out of your detailing website this Christmas. You want to get paid before you do the detail? Bruh, I got you. You want to sell gift certificates on your site this Christmas and the rest of your life? Bruh, I got you. You want 200 to 500 potential clients hitting your site each and every month? Bruh, I got you. Order today and get the chat widget for free. Every time the person hits your site, you want to greet them and sell them on a detail or answer any question they may have through your cell phone. But on their end, they see this. The woman comes in white, black, or Chinese. So call, text, or click the link below to get started. Prince, be smooth detail. Hey, welcome back, Prince. Be smooth detailing grind time TV where we talk about different strategies on how to get you more money in your mobile auto detailing business. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like cats that call me um, just like out the blue and be like, you know, like if they're not doing anything, they didn't want to try and waste my time. Like, like God gave us both time. We, we all have 24 hours in a day. Right? How you choose to use your 24 hours is totally up to you. How I choose to use my 24 hours is totally up to me. And, and I, I learned a little hack. Like when somebody call you and you're like, you know, what's up? This Prince. And they're like, hey, what's up, man? What you up to? Or what you doing? I'm like, I'm grinding. They be like, oh, okay. And if they don't say nothing, I say, what you up to? Oh, man, nothing, man. Chilling. You know what I'm saying? Me and the girl, we over here. Da -da. I'm saying, okay, bro, let me call you back. They be like, all right. 
And I know they kind of feel some kind of way about that, right? But I don't care about your feelings. Dude, I'm on a mission, right? I don't get this done, right? I feel, if I don't get this done, Never mind. I ain't, I'm, I'm not gonna get into it, man. I ain't gonna get into it. I don't care. Look, I ain't on this planet to make no friends, right? If I want friends, I go to Facebook. If I want somebody to like me, I go to Facebook and buy some likes. If I want somebody to follow me, I get me an Instagram. Boy. Anyway, who was at the grocery stores, right? The grocery stores you set up in front of them, get as many as you can. All right, let's say 10. Let's say 10 grocery stores, right? They all over the place, man. Again, they follow the 501c3. So once you get a 501c3 um, company or someone that you're cool with that has a 501c3, you want to take care of them guys. You want to make sure, you want to be like the first guy to come in every day. Yo, here you go, man, I appreciate you. Right, because that's that's how you get in, man. That's how you, that's how you get the money, for real. All right, next, you can do the same setup at all, all the stores that you got, all the mom and pop stores, do the same setup. Boom. Now, in my classes, I teach how to get the like franchise stores, like like British Petroleum, BP, the green and white stores around you, but they're all over the place. I, I, I teach you how to get those, right? Because the reason why I can teach that is because, number one, I met with one of the head owners of, the re of, of North Carolina, um, regional department. The headquarters is like 10 minutes down the street from me. Right? So I met with them because I was gonna put my waterless wash chemical in there. The only the only reason I didn't put it in there was because I could not uh distribute it the way they wanted it. Like they want like 80, 90 stores, man. I was just looking at like two. Right? I just needed two. I don't have I, I don't have the capital to to push um 90 stores and then keep up with it. I might can do it one time, right? But then to keep up with it, it's very hard, right? When you're running this business, you're running that business. Either way, I know how it functions and I know how it works, all right? So in my class, I'm going to teach that, which is, uh, I think we're teaching that down in Florida, though. I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure. I think, it, uh, yeah, it's in Florida. All right, so uh, again, all right, so, so make them yourself, all right? Learn how to make them yourself. And this is what I'm doing. I'm gonna leave you guys with some homework and then I'm gonna get out of here, man. Right? Hey, homework! I used to hate homework when I was in school too, but I understand the reason though. I understand the reason, right? The reason is that you develop the discipline to do it even though you're in a comfortable environment. Make your environment uncomfortable, right? You sitting there comfortable like in your, in your nice little apartment, right? You real comfortable in your nice little house that you renting. Right? You're real comfortable until something happens that throw you out of your comfort zone and then that hustle, that hustle switch is on. Right? The problem is you need to have that hustle switch on all the time. You don't never cut it off. Leave the hustle switch on. Right? Leave it on. Anyway, um, let me tell you how to make this joint. If you look at the, if you look at the, uh, the, the little trees, I wish I had one with me. The little trees, you know what it is? It's a piece of cardboard. That's what it is. It's a piece of cardboard. All right? That's all it is. And, and they got different, it's a piece of cardboard. So you put your own little graphics on that little piece of cardboard. That's all it is. It's, it's, and it, it comes like a, it's like a cookie cutter, right? They got a machine that can cut them out, cut them, cut them all out, and that's it, right? Now, how do they get the fragrance in there, right? Real simple. You just soak it. Let's say the fragrance is uh let's say you want let's say you want your 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 air freshener, your customized air freshener to smell like what's I say let's say Egyptian musk, right? A lot of old ones like that, like that. Right? Egyptian musk, the oil, right? Soak it in Egyptian musk. How long? I ain't gonna tell you. You figure that out on your own. You do your own experiments. All right, you soak it in there. Once it's soaked, all right, you pull it out. You place it, you need, this is what you need. You need the car, this is what, this, uh, this, this is how, this is how you need to do it. Cut you a square, about yay big, okay? You soak it into what you wanted to soak in. 
let's say 24 hour music, all right? 24 hours. Then you take it out, you put it into a, a Ziploc grab bag, right? So no air can get into it, okay? Let it dry, all right? But it has to be a way for it to dry where it's not, um, where it's not, um, where it doesn't burn, like you can't cook it, right? It has, to, it has to naturally dry, all right? So give it time for it to dry. So what you want to do is sit it out in the sun so it can dry. All right, after that, you take it out and you put it in a clean Ziploc bag and seal it up. At that point, it's ready for sale, all right? So you take that same thing. You can put graphics on a, on a cardboard. It's no big deal. Right? You can cut it out just like this. You can cut it out in the shape of a car. You can cut it out in the shape of a motorcycle. You can cut it out any way you want to. Right? And push your own stuff, bro. Push your own stuff. Right? And that's how it is. Now, don't join some joints will last about if you get the real, real African oil, that joint gonna last for a minute. Like for like three months. For real. That joint's gonna last, bro. Even after washing. Washing that mess off, it won't come off, right? That's the really, really thick stuff, right? But if you get the watered down stuff, it ain't gonna last for like 30 days, which is what they, which is what they use in that stuff, man, right? So you gotta start looking at fragrances, look, looking at different things. So you can go to the dollar store for right now, okay? Ask them for a free box. If they won't give you a free box, go to the ABC store and ask for a free box. They give you a free box. You cut that free box. All right, you go back to the dollar store, you find your fragrance that you like, any kind of fragrance, uh, oil, right? Now, the ones in the dollar store are watered down, all right? And it's a 30-day trial, okay? So you sit it in there. What you do is like this. You cut it up, right? You're going to use the whole, you're only going to spend $1 on the oil that you want and then another dollar on the bags, all right? Hopefully, they got the good bags. If you don't have the good bags, you got to go to another place and get the real good bag, but you can't have air in it, all right? Now, you, you... Take the cardboard, put it in there, let it dry. Once it dry, you put it in the other one. If you want to snap like a like a um a hole in it, like a hole puncher, and snap it in there, and then tie like a little string to it like they got, cool. Don't nobody care. All right, you put it in there and you seal it back up. Then what you're gonna do is put it in your car. All right, and you're gonna put the date on the back of the of the cardboard. Okay. So if you put it in your car, let's say November 2nd, okay. And then all the way up to the point where I don't smell it no more. Then you know, okay, this joint lasts for two months. This joint lasts for three days. But you do more than one, okay? Because we don't have time to waste. You do more than one, all right? And then it also depends on the type of oil that you use. The better quality the oil, the better, uh, the longer it will last, all right? The better quality the oil. Now, once, once you get to like three months, all right, and that mug has not died, your car still smell good, right? You 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 got something going on for yourself, bro. And then you can start selling on Amazon. You can sell on Amazon without it. Amazon eBay. You have a unique product. Unique product. Listen. Come to the seminars. If you think if you think what I what I'm teaching on YouTube is 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 value information, wait till you see me face to face. Wait till you see me face to face. Right, talking to me on the phone is one thing, but see me face to face, hustle with me, grind with me. I'll show you a world you've never seen before. Hope you enjoyed this message. This is Prince Beast Mode Detailing Grind Time TV. Till next time, grind time. Have a great week. <laughs>